Hello, and welcome to the Successful Farming Show Engine Man segment. I'm Ray Bohax, and I'm over in Columbia and Ohio at the Firestone Tire Test Facility, where all of the work is done on far Firestone Farm Tires. And what I want to talk about today is diesel cylinder liner cavitation erosion. Try to say that 10 times fast. But it's something that happens, or potential to happen, on diesel engines. On a diesel engine that has a what is called a wet liner, this is a liner from a Caterpillar diesel, diesel and a wet liner engine is a, is a design that has a cylinder liner that's pressed into the block. So the engine coolant is, goes around the liner between the engine block casting and the liner. What happens is when a diesel engine runs, the, the liner actually vibrates. When it vibrates and the coolant hits it, it creates little bubbles, like in a bottle of soda. And over time, these bubbles have the ability to erode the cylinder liner. You could see erosion starting right here. When that basically happens, it eats away the metal and then the engine oil mixes with the coolant. And for all intents and purposes, the engine is ruined and requires a complete rebuild. How do we avoid this? Well, we avoid it by keeping the engine coolant, the antifreeze, properly charged with something called supplemental coolant additives. A diesel engine needs a special coolant that eliminates the bubbles from forming and also does not allow them to stick and erode the metal surface of the liner. And that is why it is imperative that you use a test strip to test the coolant for the additive package that will stop cavitation. The important message I want you to know here is that if you're buying a used piece of equipment, if you were to do a coolant analysis, most oil analy anal analytical labs do this test for about $25, that you will be able to see if there's any elemental metals in the coolant. If there are elemental metals in the coolant, then erosion has already started, and you may want to reconsider buying that engine or negotiate that into your price. If I could ever help you with any questions on your farm equipment, trucks, what have you, please feel free to contact me at sfengineman at agriculture.com, and you have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time again in the farm shop. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.